No need to shout. No need to yell. No need to have a riot. Take a deep breath. Oh, you've gone all quiet. After being on Interpol's Most Wanted for most of your life, you'd be surprised that I've never left my home country. Because doing so would mean I would be willingly putting my life in the hands of another. I don't even trust my own mother with a television remote, much less you. Plus, it would also violate the Hague's Convention. Not the Geneva Convention. The Geneva Convention is about war prisoners, not weapons of mass destruction. Honestly, most people should read books instead of regurgitating what is said. But it would also start World War 4, because World War 3 has already started on social media. In fact, I'll be going on social media and telling every member of the LGBT community that they can't think straight. Why are you calling me? I'm right. Starting an international existential Twitter war. When World War Four starts, I'm allying myself with the Aussies because they survived their country. Come here, the secret ingredient is crime. They're really specked out British people. Also the Ruskies, because they're built different, they can survive actual winter, and they're pretty chill. <laughs> And finally, the winner of the advertisement war between Nando's and Chicken Licken, with the winner having the honor to spread my propaganda. My first line would be, the scarlet fluid that's within your body means I own you. This is me, and I want you to buy my beans. Ouch! Ah, I'm dying! Oh, I'm too young and beautiful to die! I'm gonna I'm dying! Why now? I had so much to almost live for! <laughs>